Hello everybody, this is Keith and Rachel again, bringing you a, another short devotional from the Word of God, hoping to bring you some encouragement and uh, hoping this finds you and your family doing well and are not sick and are staying safe during uh, this time. We are hoping that uh, we are looking towards the end of the tunnel. Uh, we don't know how long the tunnel is, but hopefully there will be an end in sight uh, for this present pandemic that we are all experiencing today. There's a lot of unknowns. We don't know what tomorrow holds. We don't know about the effects of the, the medicines and the vaccines they're giving. So what I'm trying to say is we're still trusting the Lord. And we know that the Lord is going to uh, keep our best interest in his heart. I know that he's going to do that because he sent Jesus to die for us. He gave us the best that he had, and uh, he's not going to stop now. That's how much he loves me and you. But you know, during difficult times, it is um, sometimes that we learn about not only other people, but ourselves, because we have more time of solitude, more time of um, uh, separation from people, and it's not really easy, but you know, you can make the best out of a bad situation. You can either make uh, bad out of it or good because, you know, there. this is a time like we've never experienced before, and I've been doing a lot of studying in the book of Job lately, and I thought about Job and, and all the things that he went through, and, and everything basically was stripped from him, and uh, including his health, and he uh, spent time in questioning God, and, and yes, he was complaining, and uh, for 20-something chapters in that book, he was complaining to God, but God had a conversation with him, and when it was all said and done, the Bible said that Job's complaining ceased. Friend, if you are able to see this video today, if you're sitting under a roof, if you had something to eat today, you know, we really don't have anything to complain about because pandemic or no pandemic, there are people all over this world who suffer immensely. And, you know, it's easy for us to be selfish, to be focused on ourselves and our family and, and, and what's best for us and are we going to be provided for. Well, you know, I think Job, uh, to some point, went through those same things. He was missing his livestock. He was a rich man, had a lot of stuff. He was missing his health. It was stripped from him. He was missing, I guess, probably more than anything else, his children. His children was taken from him. And even though they were not technically his possessions, they were blessings that God had blessed him and his wife with. But God uh, did something for Job that I think would we would really pay close attention to today. It's near the end of the of the book, Job forty two, and verse ten. After Job's friends had came and basically sat with him for seven days, and and then the interrogation process began, and Job took his focus off of himself and turned it to his friends because his friends were disillusioned. His friends were wrong and that they thought Job had done something wrong to merit the trouble that was going on in his life. And when Job began to focus on his friends rather than himself, listen to what the Bible says, Job 42, verse 10. And the Lord turned the captivity of Job. He turned his whole situation around. He went from being the most de he went from being the most prosperous perfect man to being the most destitute lonely man and then when he took his eyes off himself and started looking at someone other than himself the bible says he turned the captivity of job when he prayed for his friends also the lord gave job listen twice as much as he had before the lord gave Job much more than he ever lost. I know that we don't do things for other people, for God to give us rewards, but you know, Job, after he took his focus in a different direction, then God blessed him and turned his situation around. What will the Lord do for you, friend, if you could just take your eyes off yourself 
and turn your eyes toward Jesus. Turn your eyes toward people that need Jesus, that need something that only you can provide. Friend, God has a blessing that he wants to use to give to you so that you can bless someone else with. God bless you, friends. We hope you're doing okay. And if there's anything that we can do for you or your family, please don't hesitate to call. We love you and God bless you.